Hey guys, it's Angie. Today we're going to be doing this look. This is my last video in the Halloween series for 2010, anyway. Um, this is really gross and nasty. It was kind of inspired by wax, candles, the concept of a face kind of melting off in a wax pattern, so yeah. It's also an entry for a contest. I don't enter contests very often. My friend Joanna Delilah is having a contest and I wanted to support and I came up with this gross thing, monster dude, for her contest. So if you want to check out the contest, I'll put it down below in the info box. And you can enter too, and have fun, and meet people. That's what contests are about. Anyway, let's get the tutorial started, and yeah. Let's go! Alright guys, to begin this prosthetic, you're going to need some semblance of a face, an outline. You know, this is a face chart that I printed off from MAC. And then a clear sheet protector. Um, you can find these at office supply stores. And very, very handy when you're doing this. Also, I have taken an empty Elmer's glue bottle and filled it with liquid latex. This is going to allow you more precision when you're filling out the drips. To start, you're going to want to think of a drip pattern. You can draw on the face chart if you'd like. I just, you know, I'm going to freehand it for now. And I like to start at the end and then bring the drip upwards. And as you get towards this, the inner portion of the prosthetic, you want it to be thinner so that it'll blend into your skin easily. You're just going to do another one, make it thicker at the bottom, and pull it back. Make sure it's thinner towards the eye. Do another one. Alright, so you're going to want to do different layers. You might want to do different sheet protectors at first to cover the, the face. But this is what I have after it has dried. And then as you can see, I have another sheet protector that's going to lay on top of that. You can see the effect that gives, how it's going to be drips all down the face and off the chin as well. Once the latex has dried, you can take powder and a powder brush and just powder over these pieces. Now I'm going to start peeling them up using a toothpick. And you want to grab a hold. And you want to apply powder underneath as well. Otherwise it will shrivel up and all of your hard work will go down the drain. Now as you can see I've built this up into the shape that I want. I started at the bottom and I'm going to start applying these at the bottom first and then layering them so there's that 3D effect from the drips but I'll show you how to do that and yeah I just wanted to show you an easy way to have it laid out on the paper so you can do it quickly. You can actually apply these little dudes with spirit gum. I'm going to use liquid latex just because almost out of spirit gum remover so I'm just going to start by applying nice little coat of liquid latex. Then I'm going to grab the one drippy dew that I made for my chin and place it on top of the liquid latex and kind of make sure all the edges that are on the skin or on the face kind of lay down properly. Grab some more latex Pop it on and place the next little drippy dude. This is all about layering. You can even grab latex and put it on the back of the drip. Like a dot. Also, you will notice that I have covered my eyebrows as we get closer to doing 
forehead and stuff you want your eyebrows covered because liquid latex will rip them out believe me I know and also I did moisturize my face very well before doing this um, it's just going to be a little bit better for your skin kind of a barrier of sorts so I'm just gonna keep layering all over my face and I'll show you snippets you maybe. put the piece onto your forehead you want to measure and see uh, make sure there's not going to be anything like hanging down into your eye it's going to be too crazy and you can cut that off like this one I'm going to cut and make it a little bit less long a little bit shorter that would have been the way to say that camouflage some of the seams where the latex meets your skin you want to take a q-tip and some liquid latex and just dot it on there nose pieces so as you can see I put my white contacts in and I'm going to take my regular foundation which is Revlon color stay and a blendy brush like this one and start applying it on top of the latex You can use your finger to help pat it in as well. You can blink out your lips a bit as well. Well, the foundation. Now you just want to run powder over it. This has been a nice neutral set. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild palette in Vanity. This matte brown mixed with this camel kind of color with a fluffy brush, tap off any extra and just kind of run it around your eye socket underneath as well I'm going to dust that eyeshadow on the lip as well apply some white eyeliner to the waterline now I'm going to apply some red eyeshadow on top of that I'm just taking that camel colored eyeshadow that I showed you earlier from the Wet n Wild palette and popping it between the drips. It's going to add some more definition. One of the final steps would be to take some petroleum jelly and a ring finger <laughs> and just start dabbing that on top of the burnt um, waxy gross face texture we got going on. You can put some on your lip as well. And this area under your eyes. After you have applied the Vaseline, after you have Vaselinated yourself, um, you're done. So, you're all. This is it. I hope you enjoyed it and I really do wish you all a very happy and safe Halloween. Bye. Bye. Toodles.